Okay, so we're going to make bacon. This is how I do it and it works. So I have a big tub. It's not an airtight lid uh, because of the handle, but I couldn't get an airtight lid big enough. It's got a couple of clamp handles and then I took this. This is just a regular cooling rack for cookies and I bent it. All right, give me this lifted surface so that I don't have to do that rotating the meat every tw uh, 24 hours. It just seemed like a waste of time to me. So the inner gap of this thing's about 11 inches, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut about 11 inches of this thing, which is about there. So this is a pork loin. I got it from Sam's Club, all right? We, we tend to buy it when it's on offer. 14 pound, $14.43 for this massive piece of meat. Okay, it's got a decent fat cap on it. This side wanes off a bit here. So I'm, this is the bit I'm gonna use, not this bit. So the first thing you gotta do, wash your hands. And then uh, we're gonna open this up. Obviously it's full of blood, pork juices. Let it drain. What I do is I pull the whole thing out and then I rinse it in cold water. Get all the preservatives and crap off it. Okay, get as much water off as you can. And then get some kitchen towel and dry it off. Now you can wet cure it, which is basically submerging it in a saline solution. Again, you've got to rotate it every 24 hours. I've tried that method three times. Once it came out okay. Twice, I don't know what happened, it just came out rancid. And my family all agree that dry cured tastes better. So that's what we do. And I saw loads of different recipes and methods online. I've tried them all. Some are quite fancy. Some are quite simple. Uh, but I've perfected my own method. It's really easy and several people have asked me to film it. So, there's my meat. This is about as dry as I'm going to get. We want about 11 inches. So there. Sharp knife. Cut straight through. So that's what we're going to work with today. So this piece of meat, I'm just going to move that away because we're going to use that for pork chops. This is the piece I'm going to work with. Okay, so it's got a decent fat cap on it. That's what you want. So when it's cooking, it self bases itself. Okay, this is what we're going to use. Morton Tender Quick Home Meat Cure Salt. Amazon. Comes in a two pack. Sometimes it's cheap, sometimes it's pricey. But a bag goes a long way. And basically all you do is cover it in salt. Pat it in, massage it in. You want a good thick covering of salt, all right? Any excess comes off onto the chopping board, which is fine, because then you can use it to really roll it in it. Make sure you do the ends. If you've got any paper cuts, now's the time that you'll discover them. Ones that you didn't think you had. Be generous with the salt. 
It's the salt that makes it bacon and not just meat that's gone off. I've tried recipes where I've salted it every day. I've tried recipes where I've left it. Honestly, I was shocked myself, but you just leave it. Okay, when you're happy, that all four sides are covered generously. Transfer it to the baconator, as I call it. Any extra salt left over, I just chuck on top for good measure. And because I'm a fan fancy little device, I don't need to turn it. Bit of salt stuck in the lid. Now, my lid's not airtight. It doesn't need to be because you are curing it. And in the olden days, they just used to hang it up in a shed. The flies flying around and everything, so. It doesn't have to be airtight, it just has to be protected from the elements. Put my lid on. Clamp it shut, it just makes it a bit more airtight around the loose handles. Okay, and that's it. Set an alarm on your uh, calendar for nine days on your phone and then slice it. Uh, I actually purchased a, a proper professional bacon slicer from Cabela's so I can get beautiful thin cuts of bacon. Uh, if you're going to cut it by hand, partially freeze it just to make it a bit more rigid and then it doesn't fight the knife, but you need a good sharp knife. Okay, and that's it. That's how you make bacon. See you in nine days.